standing out behind the old John Deere. Me and Jenny Johnson, we stood far too near to each other. You just oh, who's that? Those are my three brothers. Not in July, under the light, over 65 watt. You probably don't know them, but you will. Oh yes, you will. Hey, I'm Derek, the big brother. Hey, I'm Nathan. I'm the middle man. I'm Spencer. I'm the youngest and the cutest brother. We've been playing and singing together for as long as I can remember. I think we sound pretty dang good. Well, I moved to Nashville and now we're hoping to catch our big break. Derek writes the tunes and sings lead. Nate plucks the bass and I'm on Mando. These two homeboys are the only ones I want to sing harmony with. Folks sometimes ask us, how do we keep it all together? How do we keep plugging away at this? What keeps us from throwing in the towel when things get hard? Well, nothing life throws at us can break, break a band, band of brothers. Let me just tell you, my brothers are awesome. They sing together, work together, and usually play well together. Although, they've had their moments. The score was tight at 21 in the neighborhood to we, we were the ones that grew up in this house. Yeah, um, you guys bought this house from our parents about 11 years ago. Yeah, it uh, definitely sparks a lot of memories from back in our youth, for sure. Like the time Derek and Nathan were playing a friendly game of football in the front yard. And this was out of bounds. That was out of bounds. And so you... I had the ball. You had the ball. Yeah. You take the ball. Spinning, yeah. running. You were clearly out. And, yeah. and then I just clobbered you and yeah. it was all over from there. Of course, you didn't have the beef on you that you have now, so <laughs> neither did I. <laughs> and after I got his scrawny butt off of me, <laughs> he took off that way and I took off that way and he kept going <laughs> all the way around the circle. But I did. I, did I make it all the way around the sub? I believe that's where you ended up. Yeah. I think I chased you at least halfway. I'm like, there ain't no way he's coming back this direction. So I came back and waited for you. And I chased him halfway around the sub. He'd have done anything and not to get beat up. That's one of the things that I always ladies across the street that's what I remember they sit in their chairs and their sport swing just is swinging away I'd be out on the basketball court with my jump shoes on <laughs> trying to be able to be MJ and I knew they were always watching so I was like oh I gotta I gotta look good you know I gotta look good for the ladies I should probably mention at this point that this is Derek my oldest brother will the farmer had a no mule who stumbled and fell in a way. He is a songwriter of the band and lives in Nashville with his wife Christina and their boys. Wiped his old brow as he thought about those years in the fields with his own mule. He'll write a song about anything interesting that happens to him or people around him, or even random farm animals for that matter. That old mule. But let's get back to the front yard game. Only thing we can't really see now is the field that we uh, half burned up because our motorcycle blew up. We owned that thing for like two weeks. Yeah, all of two weeks. That was pretty much the only motorized vehicle that we ever owned back then. Yeah, times have changed. I got a garage full now. This is Nathan, the middle brother, the character of the bunch. This is about my Christmas jammies, which I have on. <laughs> I wear jammies, snowflake jammies, it's a whammy how jammy I feel in my jammies. That he plays I bass are. in the band and rocks some harmony vocals. I got that boom boom and all the girls chase with all the right junk and all the right He lives up in the hauler where four wheelers, hillbillies and goats live side by side in perfect harmony. A 
Hey buddy, how you doing? You been running this route a long time? About 13 years. 13 years. Well, that would have caught him. We grew up in this house about 20 years ago. We just came back to see how it was. We wonder if you were the same fellow that was selling us ice cream when we were a little tight. Probably was. <laughs> cool. What you got? You got a rocket pop? Red, white, and blue? On the side. Cream sickle. Yeah. Hello. Uh oh. Do it. Go. <laughs> are you gonna say something? You're the guy. <laughs> We've already said all I can say. I don't know what else to say. And this is Spencer, the baby brother. I'm uncomfortable with this. <laughs> He's Spee or Spence to us, and is ten years younger than Nate. They call themselves Twin Ten. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's almon on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote. He plays mandolin in the band and sings the highest harmony part. And he's freshly married to my new sister, Courtney, and they're expecting their first. One day I'll have to tell you their story. You're going to love it. Yeah, so music, singing with the brothers, that's all we've ever done. You know, you can get together with other guys, other friends, and, you know, all growing up, we've sang with groups, and in high school growing up, we, we all had our a cappella groups that we'd sing with, but there's something about singing with your own flesh and blood that's just different. We've all just grown up with music in our blood, uh, you know, that we've, we've never known anything else. Make me want to be a better man. We've played music for a long time. Uh, our parents uh, raised us playing music. They, they were full-time musicians, played at various places. And we spent a lot of time uh, backstage, occasionally on stage. Uh, we would play and sing with them from time to time. a lot of time watching mom and dad play and I think that's really why music is such in our blood it's it's just kind of who we are you feel you're on your way to stardom now or is this, <laughs> is this just the beginning is yeah this is just the beginning yeah. huh? well how many of these gold albums Gonna, are you going to have it on your wall? I don't know. As many as I can get. As many as you can get. Yeah. So from a very early age, I, I saw my parents performing, my, uh, you know, my sister, my brothers performing, and I, I've just always loved it. We've been playing music forever. Actually, the first day we met, Paula was sitting at a piano, and I come up and walked at, looked at her, and we talked a little bit, and before that session was over, I, I said that we could make beautiful music together. And um, I think we've kind of been doing that ever since. We played music for about 25 years, we raised a family by doing nothing but playing music, and most people said that couldn't be done. I guess we got lucky. We never got famous, but we played music for our whole career and, and had a great time doing it.
Do you have any plans to sign a record deal with anybody anytime soon? Do you have any offers? No. No? I guess that's the first time you guys got an opportunity to go in the studio. And uh, if I remember right, you were playing uh, Floyd Kramer's Last Date, and Nate was playing uh, the drums. And uh, if, if I remember correctly, I think it was the first take, which really amazed Paul and me and everybody else who were pretty, pretty astounded at that. It was very obvious there was a lot of talent going on and, and some little people at that time. And you never really fall in love to stay To stand beside each other come what may I guess I kind of followed and saw you and your brothers as they, you know, began to hone their skills playing, singing, writing. You know, that blood thing is very powerful because there's some DNA or something going on from your parents and, you know, the influences you've had that kind of makes you guys synergistic with each other. A lot of people search and try to find bands or groups that, that they can do that with and it just doesn't, you don't ever find the right people. And, you know, and aside from the technical aspect of singing together, it's, it's just a blast, you know. It's, it's not like you're ever, your band is ever going to break up because you're brothers and you're not going anywhere, you know. In my mind, I'm going to Carolina. We've been doing this for 15 or more years. Since, since B was six years old, we had him up there singing harmonies. And so it's just always been something that's just been super fun and cool and, and uh, just really natural for us. You know, we've always just loved what we do. It's something that we'll do no matter what, you know, till we're old and decrepit. But uh, we just feel that there is something more for us. What we want to do is show a lot bigger group of people what we can do, you know. And we feel like we're meant for that in, in some way. So, you know, the Lord knows what He's doing. He's, he opens doors for us. He, sometimes He lets doors close and we have to, He's going to test us to see how how dedicated we are to doing it, so. I can hear the neighbors, they're arguing again. Derek, I felt watching you that you would have rather been having a tooth pulled than be standing on that stage. It seems to be, you know, a steady progression towards figuring out what your sound and you guys as a, a band of brothers, uh, it just happens can't make it happen. It just takes time. If you stay at it, then you're probably going to get a break somewhere. You know, as long as we continue to put the, the most important things first in our life, which are our families, then they can sure they're taken care of, you know. He'll, he'll bless us with uh, chances to, to shine and to, who knows, maybe play in front of lots of people and sell a bunch of records one day. That's my hero. Ready? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Why is it 4D? Hmm? Is it 3D or 4D? They have both. What's 4D? I don't know. What's the fourth D? Nobody puts ice on their orange juice. Oh, I'll just brush my teeth. <laughs> so what we're going to do is what we call an anatomy scan. So we're going to just look at all the little things, kidneys, liver, heart, and just see if everything looks good. Derek, the oldest brother, is the songwriter, very talented uh, songwriter. He's able to put real life emotion and real life stories into our songs. And we think that's one reason why people really connect with what we do. There's one song he's written called Little Unborn Hero that is talking about what's going through the mind of a father as he's waiting for a child to be born. It's a girl I don't know and As I wait I wonder Is she a doctor? Is she 
a wife? Is he the man who stays behind, keeping watch all night? And going through the process of having our, our first kid, the song has really changed for me, and it means a, a whole lot more to me. And I can under, I can understand the emotions and, and everything that went through Derek's mind as he was writing it. I think one of the most exciting parts of becoming a parent for the first time is when you go in for your ultrasound to figure out the gender of your child. <laughs> I don't see how that picture tells no. you anything. Well, see, right there. And on our first ultrasound visit, they were able to tell us the gender, and uh, we had a little fun with uh, revealing it to everybody. We had everyone over to our house. Yeah. All right, so we're, uh, the cans have either blue or pink silly string. Yeah. So on somebody's count of three, we're going to all gonna spray us, and then uh, you can spray us, and we'll, we'll figure out what it is. <laughs> Okay, you ready? One, <laughs> two, While Spencer and Courtney were just about to experience their first little one in life, Nate's clan was getting ready to announce their fourth. Some kind of magic Late at night When the moon Smiles down at me Yay, we're going to the park Yay, yay It's light I fell asleep Beneath you In the tall blades of grass When I woke The world was new I never had to ask It's a brand new day The sun is shining It's a brand new so I'll tell you a bit about uh, something that my family experienced recently and that was the experience of our daughter Paisley Long time I know M How long? Mommy is pregnant. Isn't it? Mommy's pregnant. <laughs> she has a baby in her belly. <laughs> it's a brand new day. She brought joy to our family from day one. Mommy's gonna have a little baby. I'll be okay. I think the hardest thing about our situation is that we love playing for people, but when we set up a concert, we're doing everything ourselves. We did a gig the other day up in Nate's neck of the woods. I think we probably went a little bit overboard. We were giving away free food and everything. We, we just wanted to play music for people. And whatever it took to get them there, that's what we did. Derek, actually, he has a, a mobile pirate ship, if you can believe that. Uh, kind of a 
a play ship for kids. He brought that in and we set that up for kids to play in so that we could get families to come. We really tried to think of everything to make sure nobody had an excuse not to come. So we had something for the kids to do. We had fireworks at the end of the night. And uh, you know that was a lot of hard work going into preparing for that gig. All right. We have fireworks. The whole truck load of it, <laughs> truck. it sounds like. Well, what's up with it? And he's, uh, is he just basically supplying it and we're taking care of it? Uh, like, fleet is? Fleet's going to shoot them off. I, I couldn't think of anything unloaded. more safe than that. <laughs> You know, even up until the last minute, we were just hoping people weren't going to get lost on the way up there because it was kind of, you know, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up on your left. Hold your breath, and before you need to breathe again, you'll be here. My dad and brothers built this house together 10 years ago with their own hands. This is sort of my mom's dream house, but my dad always looked forward to turning the basement into a music and game room. Basically a man cave for all the stuff the family loves to do together. We built the house from the ground up, um, did everything from the foundation to the finished carpentry, and this is the place that, that we love, and it's our gathering place where we all get together now. One of the things that I was most proud of is when, is the fact that all four of the kids were voted most talented by their senior classes. That was the superlative that they had won in each of the years that they were in high school. And I'm sure Spencer, by the time he came along, was kind of hoping that he would win it too after the first three had already, I'd already got that. With all the things that we do together as a family, we have so much in common. And I think the music is obviously the thing that stands out most, but it's the love that we feel for each other through our faith that pulls us together. Yeah, Greg wrote a song once called Everything and it sort of talks about how, you know, no matter no matter how much gold and silver you may have. Or don't have. Or don't have. As the case may be. Right. You have everything if you have your family and your grandkids and love. And yeah, our whole life, I think, has been, we've been living on a lot of faith. <laughs> but. And we definitely feel blessed. Our whole career, we got to do what we love doing. And even now that we're not performing anymore, it still goes on. And I think it will continue to go on with grandkids who seem like they're extremely talented as well. Come here, dude. What do you have to say for yourself? I know about the movie. What's being said between your heart? We have been known to do whatever we got to do to get in front of people. Um, it's probably not the most economical uh, decision, but uh, we, we definitely we've taken a lot of losses to play. Um, but we think in the long run it's going to pay off. 
So I think our, our dream and our goal would just be to be able to play for lots of people more often. Because I think the music that we play and the songs that we have um, really speak to people. And when they get a chance to, to hear the music, most people, most people love the stuff that we do. So this next song is called More. And if you don't listen to any of the words, I ask you to listen to the words of this one. I think it's one of the best songs that Derek has written. And uh, this song talks about kids and really what a blessing they are. And uh, right here, these three, this is my world. And, uh, and Sobe's kids are up here, of course. Uh, Derek's kids are in Nashville today. And uh, I guess this would be an awesome time for Spencer to take the mic for just a second. It's true. I've got one kid. He's, she's not born yet, though. We just found out we're, we're uh, having a girl just yesterday. All right, let's hear it for Spencer and Courtney. There have been days and bikes, the red balloons and kites. Yeah, there's sippy cups, better fill them up for the drive back home tonight. We have uh, just had a blast tonight. We hope you have too. We're going to do one last song, and it's probably going to be a long song because there's going to be some stuff blowing up. wrap up the whole night we had a pretty killer uh, fireworks display had my nephew out there blowing stuff up and we were playing one of our favorite songs underdog and it was just a sweet just awesome time all right just go ahead and turn loose on it guys chose to do it. The fireworks will probably continue. Thank y'all for coming. Enjoy it. Have a safe ride home. Thank you. We'll thank you. We'll see you next time, all right? One, two. Life with our family does include a lot of music, building things, and creativity, but it never happens without lots of family surrounding us. And it sure doesn't hurt that some of the guys' songs perfectly capture the moments that matter and help us celebrate, cope, and learn from our trials. The day that we told the kids that we were uh, expecting, uh, they, were, they were just so, so fired up and happy and kicking and screaming and just, just couldn't wait. And so, uh, as, as the months went on, and actually as Amy was about seven months uh, pregnant, she went in for a checkup and found out that uh, the, there was no heartbeat. So the next day they, uh, they, did, they verified that she in fact had, 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 uh, had passed away. And this was a pretty tough time for my family. We had been looking so forward to Paisley and thinking and planning and talking about uh, all the things we do. And just like that, she was gone. You know, we have a great faith in God and, and in His great plan. And that we know it's, His plan is perfect. And I take great comfort in that. At times I've thought, well, why did that happen? Or, or why couldn't we have, why couldn't the outcome have been different? But I've learned to just put my trust in Him and, and He knew what was best for us. We have a, uh, a grave here close to the home that she, her body is, is buried. And about a year after she had, uh, had been buried and we, we got a headstone 
to a place on the grave. And we got all the family together. And so when I went and picked it up, and uh, they hoisted it up. <coughs> it was just an overwhelming feeling when I saw it. <coughs> I just thought it was perfect. So, anyways. In actuality, it, uh, the, the passing of, of our daughter Paisley brought our family together much more than even before. We spent, we, and continue to spend a lot of time uh, praying and, and just hoping in, for that day that we'll be able to be reunited with her. Sitting in exam room three The nurse figures out that machine And puts a picture on the screen There he is, maybe not It's a girl I don't know as I wait, I wonder, is she a doctor? Is she a wife? Is he the man who stays behind, keeping watch all night? Will she build airplanes? Will he be the one who stands for our flag? Oh, my little unborn hero. My little unborn hero And man, I hope he does great things And I hope she chases down all her dreams And she's treated like a queen But then again, you never know Where this broken road goes And I can't help but wonder is she a doctor? Is she a wife? Is he the man who stays behind keeping watch all night? Will she build airplanes? Will he be the one who stands for our flag? Oh, my little unborn hero. Yeah. Little unborn hero had planned to show the little video, hopefully most of y'all had seen it, of uh, the happiness that Paisley brought into our life when we found out that Amy was uh, pregnant. But that was probably one of my <clears throat> favorite times of my life, being able to share that experience with the kids. So this is uh, <clears throat> probably going to be another favorite time of my life to tell you all that Amy is pregnant. <laughs> I believe that there's a place in heaven Where they're waiting to come down They can't wait to come down And I don't ever want to mess direct on Cause they got a big place and a plan Is she a doctor? Is she a wife? See the man who stays behind keeping watch all night Is she a teacher? Was he born blind? Is she the server of the sandwich in the shelter line? Is he a preacher? Will she dedicate her life to her kids? God's plan is perfect. Although we may not in the, the moment understand what we are experiencing or going through, uh, it will all work out. And the, uh, the sun will come up the next day and, and everything will be fine.